And here we have the starting lights. Three, four, five. And it's lights out in Australia. The final race of the season has just started. 29 laps of pure racing to go. And Lucas Darkson gets a very, very, very bad start. Gets overtaken by his championship rivals immediately. And by the way, championship rivals, here we have all three side by side. Jander Shisha gets into the lead of these three drivers. Lucas Darkson gets pressure from Rio Montano. In the back, there we see them. Rio Montano not quite getting past here at turn four. And now he gets pressure by the Mercedes driver. Oh, and he loses control and puts the Mercedes and himself into the barrier. But no one has crashed out. Only some front wing damage on Red Bull and Mercedes driver. And here is the Alfa Romeo of side Alfa Lassi trying to get past the Ferrari. Clinton Augustin saying no, not today, not in this turn. Bit of cutting the rest. Oh, and Clinton Augustin gets off the track and side Alfa Lassi goes through, goes into the top five in the final race of the season. And Clinton Augustin leaves the track again, goes into the gravel. Here we see him. Bad things for him. And let's have a look at the front, maybe. Thank you. And here we see Jelle Shishak with two laps. Oh, and Clayton Augustin is out. Oh, he retired on the track. And this was qualified by that. And, oh, wait, we can see. Yeah, that's bad for Darkson because he has to win now. And this is something the championship contester has already done in the past. He spun here at turn four. And here we see Pim Granovink, who just set the fastest lap of the race, getting him an extra point. And we got a safety car, because Side Everlasty lost his front wing in a dangerous spot on the track. And it's a full safety car, not even virtual safety car. Might overthink that decision, race control. And now we are watching the end of the wrongly selected broadcast safety car. And here we see Lucas Darkson. In the McLaren. Oh, he. Yeah, he's a bit of unaware. Oh, and here we have Side of Alassi. Even more unaware. Going straight into the barrier. Losing his front wing. But now let's have a look at the front. Hubert Pavlikovsky. In first position. Who would win the championship with this position? Jandar Shishak two positions behind. And then Lucas Darkson. Oh, who is. Getting past Jan and now Pavlikovsky has sped up. Five second time penalty for Pim Grenoving for colliding with Vero Montano in the background. Here we have Lucas Dirksen getting past Jan Shishak who goes off the track. Now even overtaken by Pim Grenoving. And there we see in the background Jan Shishak trying to get past Pim. Unsuccessful. And now this is turning the championship around a bit. Because now Hubert Pavlikovsky would be the champion. And this is Jean Dachyshek chasing the Mercedes and Red Bull driver. Oh, and Rio Montanu now getting attacked by Pim Granovagen through the chicane. Oh, and there is the Red Bull off the track. Where is the Mercedes? Not in the front, but in the grass. There we have him. Definitely a mistake by the Mercedes driver trying to overtake there, not even considering who was fault for the crash. And this is the race end for Said Afalasi, who retired from the station himself, but he parked it on the track side, so no problem at all, I think. And with 10 laps to go, let's hope for a nice battle. And we have no battle at all now, but we have a race winner. Lucas Darkson wins the last season one race in Australia. And here we see Janda Shishak, who just got overtaken by Raffle Spring. No chance at all for him to get this position back, but a chance for him to win the championship as he does now. Janda Shishak is season one LOM 138 Cup champion here in Australia. What a nice battle it was until the last race. For him. And here we have championship third, Hubert Pavlikovsky, who gets equaled by race winner Lucas Dirksen. But because Dirksen won three races and Pavlikovsky didn't win one race at all, he just gets 
the third position and here we have reserve driver Rio Montanu who for sure will get a permanent race seat for next season. 